Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. So continuing on with my list of favorite things in the Magic Kingdom Park. Today we are doing dark rides. Now what is a dark ride? Dark ride, oftentimes, but not always, is a retelling of a story, but sometimes is an original story as well. So some examples of dark rides, Peter Pan's Flight, Winnie the Pooh, Haunted Mansion. These are all examples of dark rides. So it has a vehicle, some omni-mover style where they're continuously uh, flowing and loading. Some of them have individual ride carts, but the idea is that the lights are down and they're using lighting effects to point you to where, what they want you to see to tell that story. So let's go on the Haunted Mansion. The extended queue area for Haunted Mansion isn't always used, but when it is, the story begins here with the interactive elements. The gravestones are written in a comedic fashion, and there are clues about things to come. I'm looking at you, Madam Leota. Once inside, you start meeting some of the 999 happy haunts who reside in Gracie Mansion. The scenery is used to tell their stories, for example, Look at all the portraits as your doom buggy approaches Constance. Haunted Mansion is a great, great dark ride. It, number one, super air conditioned, very cool in there. It's wonderful and delightful. It's an omni mover. So the wait usually is not too long and it goes relatively quickly because it's constantly, constantly loading. It's a little bit creepy, but I would not say it's scary. There's nothing that jumps out and like really, really frightening, but it is creepy. It deals with haunted you know, house themes. So it does have that going for it or going against it, depending on your stance on the matter. But I me, mean, I, I love it. I, I find it delightful. It's telling the story of Gracie Manor and you know the 999 happy haunts that inhabit it. And also, the story continues outside. There is a bit of a pet cemetery um, as you exit the ride. So you do have like a little kitty cat and a dog over there, but I don't know if you can see all the way in the back. Let's try to zoom in. We have Mr. Toad back there, a little homage to a defunct ride, if you will. It's time for another dark ride. Let's go on the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. You board your honeypot and enter into the storybook world of the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. You will find many classic scenes recreated, such as a very windy day and the heffalumps and woozles. One detail that I really enjoy is the added motion given to the honeypot during the scene where you bounce with Tigger and in the flood. So the Winnie the Pooh ride is a delightful classic retelling of the Winnie the Pooh and Hundred Acre Woods stories. You go on an adventure with Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger, whole Hundred Acre Wood gang and you go through the storybook and you relive the tale of Winnie the Pooh. Let's see, where am I gonna rank this one? Hmm, this is a toughie. Journey Under the Sea with a Little Mermaid is located on the edge of Fantasyland. You board a clamshell that transports you through different scenes in this undersea adventure, even if no water is actually involved. My favorite area is the Under the Sea Song and Dance where you are surrounded by a party of all variety of fishy friends. Even Ursula makes an appearance on this ride and looks marvelous.
but just like the story, they all live happily ever after. So the voyage under the sea with the Little Mermaid is a dark ride. It's one of those classic retellings of the story. So you literally go under the sea with Ariel and it recreates your favorite scenes from the movie. So you have like when Ariel, you know, wants to be human and then you have the, the um the under the sea song with, with sebastian and all the fishy friends then ursula ursula comes and she has her villainous ways and then she's like i want your voice and ariel's like but my voice and she's like but you want to be human and then ariel ends up getting her voice back and then there's a party at the end classic classic dark ride so I will give you my, my top picks at the end, but that was uh, Journey Under the Sea with Ariel and Friends. So the next dark ride on my list is going to be Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. So the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, it's, it's Omni Mover, so all the cars keep moving, they're all attached and they all go along, and you're trying to defeat the evil Emperor Zerg, and it is, it, and it is interactive. That's right, you have a blaster and there's targets all over and you can spin the cart and you have to get the high score. So let's go. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin is essentially a video game. You board vehicles equipped with a blaster and joystick to control the direction that you face. The evil Emperor Zerg is causing havoc in this neon and blacklit landscape, and Buzz has enlisted you as a space ranger. You need to zap as many targets as you can throughout the ride, and you will be victorious. So you might be saying, Mercury, what about Peter Pan's flight? Honestly, my friends, it wasn't gonna make the cut for me. But I do wanna put out there, yes, it is a dark ride in Magic Kingdom. It just wouldn't have made my list. How did I rank all the ones that did make the list? Let's go through it. Coming in in fourth place, we have Journey Under the Sea with the Little Mermaid. It's a wonderful dark ride. It's comfortable, it's air conditioned, it's got the great retelling of the story, but that's all that it is. It's a straight up retelling of the story. And honestly, I could use a little more Ursula. Just my opinion, but you know. Then in third place, we have the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Now, you may have caught on that I am a big fan of the Pooh and Pals. I will always go for the character breakfast. I love Winnie the Pooh. But as far as the dark ride for Winnie the Pooh, again, much like The Little Mermaid, it is just a straight up retelling of the Winnie the Pooh story, which is adorable and classic and I love it to bits and bits, but it doesn't stand apart. So it's, it's being ranked at number three. But the thing that I do really appreciate is that added motion they give to the honey pots. So that scene where you first see Tigger and the, the honey part starts to bounce, or when you're, it's rain, rain, rain is coming down, 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 and you start like floating away and it gives you the floaty motion, it gets the added points. So it comes in above the Little Mermaid for that. Then in second place, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. So this one comes in second place for me because it's more than just a retelling. Disney got an idea and they ran with it and it works. It really works. So instead of just being an observer of the story like you are with the previous two rides I mentioned, for the Buzz Lightyear ride, you are an active participant in the story. So you're in the cart, you have the, the blaster, it's like a giant video game, and you are trying to defeat Emperor Zerg. You, you are part of the story. So I love that they pull you in and make the story about your involvement in the storyline. Love it, love it. So Buzz Lightyear uh, Space Ranger Spin is in my second place spot. 
That's a bit of a tongue twister there. Oh my goodness. Okay, that means one thing. First place, Haunted Mansion. I know, I know, you all saw that coming, but the thing is with the Haunted Mansion, I can go on it again and again and again and again, and I will never get tired of it. It's like, it's not scary, it's creepy spooky, but there's so many details. There's such nuance. And the 999 happy haunts that inhabit it have storylines and they have backgrounds. And if you look at that detail and that nuance, you'll see it. And each time that I ride it, I see something new. And I have ridden this, this ride so many times I've lost count, but I still will find new things, new Easter eggs, new storylines that I missed in previous rides of it. And it's not that it's changed, it's that there's so much nuance to it. I love it, I love it. So that takes my number one spot for best dark ride in the Magic Kingdom. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I had so much fun making it. I hope that you, you got to see the dark rides, why I chose what I chose, and you know what about them I enjoy so much. And with that, I am done for the day. I'll see you all real soon. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.